Good morning, Northtown. I'm Jordan Priest. I'm Brett Hilgart. Today is Tuesday, September 20th, and we are broadcasting you from 217. This is NTV News. Seven students, due to construction, people with parking passes will be allowed in the back parking lot as available. This will be continuous throughout the year. If you don't have a pass, please park in another lot. If you are planning to attend the Deck at Sporting KC Day, you need to sign up by today. If you have questions, see Mr. James. Northtown will be doing a food drive with harvesters on homecoming, bringing four non-pressure... Pre pe oh my god. Pressure... Pleasurable food items will be will earn you a raffle ticket to earn prizes like a six inch mini cake from Dairy Queen, an oil change from Tires Plus, or a twenty five dollar gift card from Aunt Mary's Cookies. There will be a district wide Spanish focused college and fast info, info night tomorrow, September twenty first at seven p.m. in the Northtown Hospitality Room. Science Club will have its first meeting on Tuesday, September twenty seventh, in North Clay eight fourteen at two fifty. Future educators have a meeting during advisory tomorrow in North Clay eight twenty eight. Mrs. Mason will be holding a weekly Wednesday advisory math study group in 215. A plus tutors. This will be an easy way to earn your tutoring hours during the school day. Contact Ms. Mason or Mrs. McCurry for more information. Attendance recovery is held on Tuesdays 2.30 to 4 p.m. with Ms. Bell in the North Clay Room 841. There will be a late bus available. Students that wish to ride the late bus must see Ms. Allen at the North Clay office for a pass prior to fourth block. There will be an FBLA Future Business of Leader Leaders of America meeting every Tuesday at 2.30 and BT 602. Everyone is welcome to join. The Equestrian and FFA Club will meet in North Clay 842 tomorrow during advisory and Thursday after school. We have many different diploma options here at Northtown and one that makes us unique in our district is International Baccalaureate Program. Jordan Priest gives us an inside look at the life of an IB student with senior Caleb DeWitt. Describe what the IB diploma is and what some benefits are. The IB diploma is a diploma option that is offered here at North Kansas City High School and it is a very rigorous diploma option in which all of your classes are based on the IB curriculum and, and you have to test out of it. It's very similar to AP but instead of uh, just having one test it's also based on other assignments that you have to do throughout, uh, throughout your two years of IB. Um, some benefits are that certain colleges will give you college credit for it. Uh, I know some students have gone into college with 36 hours already like off the table and that's like a lot. Other colleges will give you scholarships as well. Um, a lot of students will come out of the IB uh, program and they'll be able to go into college and say that they already know a lot of the curriculum and so they won't really need to try in their classes or even show up to their classes and so that's another benefit as well. By doing the IB um, diploma do you think it made your high school career worth it? Would you take anything back? Absolutely. Um, I feel like when I go into college I'm going to have a very improved work ethic to a point where uh, like I'd be able to survive those like rough nights in college when I have to study for like three exams and a bunch of essays and I uh, will understand what it already feels like um, and still be able to know a lot of the curriculum so that it like takes a little bit of the load off my plate. What made you decide to do the IDB diploma when you entered high school? When I heard about the challenge, honestly, it kind of um, motivated me to do something like better than I think I could have done. And so it made me choose to do IB uh, because I wanted to like just see what my capabilities were because I knew that I could always choose not to do it even when I was in it and uh, hearing other students talk about it and just talk about the challenge but how it was totally worth it definitely made me uh, helped me make my decision. Um, during the IB journey what was your hardest most challenging obstacle that you've come across so far? This is a difficult question because there are a lot of nights uh, where you have a lot of homework and you have to um, write long essays that you decided to wait to the last minute to do and all of the IB students watching know exactly what I'm talking about um, and it's and, mm, the biggest 
obstacle really is just um, pushing yourself to believe that it's going to be worth it and that uh, the lack of sleep and all the homework that I'm doing will eventually uh, be worth it and give me those benefits that I've been working for. Um, my last question is, if you could do high school over again, would you still do IB? Yes. Um, I think that doing IB has um, given me a very strong friend group um, where we're kind of like a close-knit family where we all understand each other's struggles and um, we're able to help each other through that and I've never really felt this close to my friends and I think that that is one of the biggest benefits that I've gotten out of it. This is Jordan Priest reporting for NTV News. If you are a free or reduced lunch student and have not filled out a new form for the year, you need to turn one in as soon as possible. If you need a new form, ask for one in the cafeteria. The cutoff for grace free and reduced lunch for the last year is September 27th. So if you do not turn in a new free and reduced form for this year, you will have to pay for lunch starting September 27th. If you have any questions, please talk to the cafeteria manager. Last week, we shared a story on a social media social media about senior Monsterette Santos who was part of a team this summer at UMKC that discovered a new molecule. Monsterette shared her, her findings with a panel of scientists on Friday afternoon at UMKC. Here's, here she is with more information on the scientific discovery. Monsterette Santos, a senior at North Kansas City High School, has accomplished something that many aspiring scientists can only dream of. She has discovered a brand new molecule. Montserrat spent the summer working with UMKC professor Keith Busek and a graduate student as part of the American Chemical Society, Project C. On Friday, Montserrat will return to UMKC to present her findings to a group of scientists at 5 p.m. Montserrat walked us through the discovery process. We first started out with 245 trichloroanilin, and then we added sodium nitrite and then tin chloride. And then it was done at a zero degree Celsius and uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid was added to it, which created a hydrazine compound. So from that hydrazine compound, we then, the first ex part of the experiment from the hydrazine compound, we added phenylacetaldehyde. And from that phenylacetaldehyde, we got this new compound. And from that one, we were supposed to test it with uh, terbutolithium, a strong base. That, and so from, the, and from there, we were supposed to get the indoleron, but we did not get it. After spending all summer in the lab and multiple failed attempts, the team was excited with the discovery of the new molecule. We finished the whole thing a week before school was started, so I was, uh, I was excited. The new indoleron molecule does not yet have a name, but does show anti-tumor correctors, so it may even be used in the medical field one day. This is Bryce Johnson reporting for NTV News. In sports today, we have girls tennis taking on William Crispin at home at 4. Boys swim at the Park Hill Aquatic Center at 4. Softball will play Florida Stage at home starting at 4. And volleyball is away at Florida Stage starting at 5.30. To stay informed with, with a long... To stay informed all week long with everything Northtown, follow us on Twitter at Northtown News, check out our Facebook page, NKC Journalism, and download the North Kansas City app for more information about athletes, activities, maps, maps to games, links to important documents, and contact information, much more. Thanks for watching, Northtown. Keep it classy. And as always, it's a great day to be a Hornet.